G'day all. A step forward in success. I've got a spark. I've got four 1.5 volt batteries in here now, which has given me six volts. I spoke to uh, G'day all. I've got a step forward in success here. I emailed the manufacturer and they said that this unit would fire better with 6 volts. So I bought this yesterday. I've got 4 batteries in there, 4 1.5 volt batteries which has given me 6 volts. And I'll just turn some multiple, multiple lights off, just give me a sec. One, two, let me grab this. Four. So the spark, that's a nice spark going across there. That should have been picked up. Okay, turn these lights back on. Put the spark plug boot back on. Where have I put that? And just put another light on. I'm having one of those days, every time I put something down, I can't find it. Where did I put that spark plug boot? Come on Jim, can't be that. There it is. Okay, spark plug boot. Okay, now definitely got a good spark coming across there. haven't been able to get it to fire, not even the slightest bit. So I've got spark, finally got fuel in here, so the fuel, my fingers wet. I've got that carburetor that's turned completely off, so I'm giving it, that's about a quarter of a turn now. I'll give it a little bit more, I'll go just, probably just before half a turn. I don't know if that's too much or too little. I have cheated a bit here. I've taken off one of the rope pulley starters off another hit and miss engine. That's, I've pulled it a lot of times. And I don't know if it's out of time now, whether I've changed something with that uh, contact valve. But I'm happy I've got spark. I'm happy that that 6 volt, the 4 batteries has given me spark. So, there's compression there. And that's it. That looks like that's bottom dead centre now. It's coming up. No compression there. So, definitely compression. Pistons going in. There's top dead center is right. I'll lift this up to show you. Top dead center is right there. Open up. Starting to feel compression now. Just feel it in there. And just feel that compression. And just gonna check once again that I've got spark, which makes me have to turn these lights back off. off. Okay. I tell you what, 
I recommend holding it with some insulator pliers because I've got a fairly good couple of zaps. So hopefully that's showing right there. Hopefully that's getting picked up. That's a very good spark coming across there. I'll just try and close the door. It's the most beautiful July sunny day down here in Australia. Should be the middle of winter and it feels like just springs here. Okay, I'm going to get that over here. Hold that right there. Turn the light off now. You can see that spark. There. So it's definitely, i am finally got spark. I'm really happy about that. The spark coming across. Lights back on. Found the boot first time this time. Put the boot back on. Spark plug boot. One more light on guys once again I really appreciate all the advice so I've just got I've got plain petrol in here with uh, some two stroke good uh, um, outboard two stroke oil there's that's definitely that's definitely wet I just I'm not sure so I'll close that off again so that's that's half a turn. You guys that know more than me, if you could tell me, do I need more than half a turn on that? So okay, so we've got fuel there. We've got a very good spark there. Back to back to cheating. slipped off okay here we go no. like I can't smell any burnt petrol out of the exhaust Okay, so that's where we're at. I really appreciate all the help and advice that I've been given. Super appreciate it. I have seen, just while well, I've got you all, I have seen now and again an arc spark coming out of here. It's maybe if the flash is coming out well, a good half inch, a good like 12 to 15 mils, definitely a good half inch. So I'm not 100% sure what's what's causing that to happen, that arc coming out there. It doesn't happen all the time. There, there's a bolt missing here. I haven't put that one of those bolts back in. But um, what am I doing wrong now, guys? Why 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 isn't that even giving me a, the hint of a of a hint of firing up? Any advice? But God, it, it's a it's a bloody good looking engine, and uh, I just want to get this going. I, can, I can't think of anything else. I've got spark. Well, that that the difference that um, fourth 1.5 volt is made is is just unbelievable. Just put this back so nothing shorts out. I had this wired up so nice it was one of the most professional wiring jobs for me that I've ever done and now it just looks like a uh, an outhouse show I'll say I won't use the word that I want to use I'll just say an outhouse show I think you all know what I mean this was all so neat and tidy I can get it all back again but if you guys could just tell me where what would you look at now is the timing out where is it is it could I have knocked the timing off this or some something like that? This is definitely arcing. This is giving a spark. We've got petrol. So where do I go from here, guys? 
um, I'm, I'm hoping with all your help um, I know there's been a few videos now this will be the third video and uh, I, I do appreciate it and uh, I'd be pretty stumped without you guys and uh, I hope you guys get me over the line so we've, we've got spark we've, we've, we've come up somewhere got spark I would just love to get this going I'm watching all the videos of these um, turning over and they're just impressive they look great they run good this is going to be this runs like the, the uh, other ones that I'm seeing it's going to run a lot slower a lot more um, like a like a full-size uh, hit and miss engine the other ones that I've got they're, they're, they're great they're, I really like them but they are fast running hit and miss engines they're, they're not it's it's more flying along than hit and missing some of you guys have got these running very very realistically all right as always appreciate the, appreciate it and uh, once again any help and advice thank you bye for now guys